In a secluded mountain monastery, nestled amidst the whispering pines, lived an old monk named Master Hiroshi. With a weathered face that bore the lines of countless smiles and a gaze that held the depth of many seasons, Master Hiroshi was revered not just for his spiritual wisdom but also for the profound life lessons he shared with those who sought his guidance. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of gold and lavender across the sky, a group of young monks gathered around Master Hiroshi. They were eager to absorb the timeless wisdom that seemed to flow from him like a gentle stream. Master Hiroshi smiled, his eyes crinkling at the corners, and began his tale. Many, many moons ago, in a village not unlike ours, there lived a young artist named Kato. His heart danced with dreams of creating a masterpiece that would immortalize his name in the annals of art. Day and night, he painted feverishly, chasing perfection with every stroke of his brush. Master Hiroshi paused, allowing the anticipation to settle among his audience. The young monks listened intently, hanging on to every word. One day, Master Hiroshi continued, Kato presented his painting to the village elders with great anticipation. But instead of the admiration he expected, he was met with indifferent glances and muted applause. His masterpiece, in his eyes, was a failure. A murmur of sympathy rippled through the young monks. Master Hiroshi raised a calming hand, inviting silence once more. Distraught and disheartened, Kato sought refuge in the mountains. He stumbled upon an old monk, much like myself, who observed his plight. The monk beckoned him to sit beside a serene pond, its surface reflecting the moon and stars like a cosmic canvas. Master Hiroshi's eyes took on a distant glow as he transported himself into the story. The old monk handed Kato a brush and a jar of ink. Paint what you see, he advised. Kato, though skeptical, dipped the brush into the ink and started to paint the moonlit pond, the rustling leaves, and the quiet wisdom that surrounded them. A soft breeze rustled the leaves overhead as Master Hiroshi paused, the atmosphere pregnant with the weight of the story. As Kato finished his brush strokes, he looked at the canvas before him. It wasn't the grand masterpiece he had envisioned. Yet, in its simplicity, it held a beauty that resonated with the essence of life itself. Master Hiroshi fixed his gaze on each young monk, imparting the essence of the tale. The old monk smiled and said, Life, much like your painting, is a canvas of moments, each stroke telling a story of its own. Do not chase and imagine perfection, instead, embrace the imperfections that make each moment unique. The young monk sat in reflective silence, absorbing the profound simplicity of the lesson. 